hello guys welcome back to this channel in the previous lecture we spoke about the parallelogram law of vector addition we learned how to find the resultant force and the angle the resultant force makes with the positive x-axis giving two known forces say f1 and f2 now in today's video we are going to encounter a situation where we have only one known force that is the resultant force and we are required to resolve this force into its component forces along the u and v axis now we can do this using the law of sines so let's talk briefly about the law of sines so let's consider a triangle of interior angles a b and c now a b and c are in lowercase and then across angle A, we have side A. Across angle B, we have side B. And then across angle C, we also have side C. So the interior angles A, B, and C are sub to 180 degrees. So here is the equation that corresponds to this triangle. Now we have sine of the angle A and then across angle A, we have side A. So we have divided by A. And then we have sine B. And then across angle B, we have side B. And then we have sine C. And then across angle C, we have side C. So this is called the law of sines, or better still, the sine rule. And here we have three fractions. However, when we are solving the problem, we are going to consider two of them at a time. Now, before we talk about the business for today, let's try and play around the law of sines. Now, given a triangle with interior angles A equals 60 degrees, and then we have B equals 80 degrees, and then we have side C to be 10. Now, how do we find angle C, side A, and then side B. Now let's draw the triangle. So let's say we have 60 degrees here for angle A, and then for angle B we have 80 degrees, and then we have angle C, and then we have side A, B, and C. Now across the 60 degrees, that is angle A, we have side A. And then across 80 degrees for angle B, we have side B. And then we also have side C here. So we are going to find angle C, side A, and then side B. So first of all, let's find angle C. So we know that the interior angles of this triangle are up to 180 degrees. So we have 60 plus 80 plus C equals 180 degrees and then 60 plus 80 is 140 so we have 140 plus C equals 180 and then we have C equals 180 minus 140 and so C is equal to 40 degrees so we have angle C to be 40 degrees so now let's find side A and then side B now to find side A and then side B, we need to use the law of sines. Now across angle A, that is 60 degrees, we have side A. So we have sine 60 over A. And then across angle C, we have side C. So we have sine C, which is 40 degrees, divided by side C. Now from the question, we have side C to be 10. So we write 10 here. And now let's cross multiply. So we have A sine 40 equals 10 sine 60. Now because we want to find the value of A, we are going to divide through by sine 40. So sine 40 cancels out sine 40. And then we have A equals 10 sine 60 
divided by sine 40. So A is equal to 13.5. So this is the value of A. Now let's find the value of side B. So for side B, now opposite of angle B, we have side B. So we have sine 80 divided by B. And that is equal to sine 40 divided by 10. Now let's cross multiply. So we are going to have B sine 40 equals 10 sine 80. So we divide through by sine 40. And then B is equal to 10 sine 80 divided by sine 40 is equal to 15.3. So we have B to be 15.3. So side A is 13.5. Side B is 15.3. And then angle C is 40 degrees. So now let's solve our very first example. So for question number one, we are to find the component forces acting along the U and V axis respectively. So for this question, we have a resultant force, 600 newtons acting along the X axis. And then we are going to find its component forces acting along the U axis and the V axis respectively. Now we have some angles here. The angle between the U axis and the 600 Newton force is 30 degrees. And then the angle between the U axis and the V axis is 30 degrees. So what we are going to do next is to draw FU and FV respectively. Now to draw FU Let's start from the tip of the 600 Newton force and then draw a line that is parallel to the V axis. So starting from here, we have this line. So we have FU acting in this direction. Now let's draw that of FV. So we're also going to create a line that is parallel to the U axis. So starting from here, we have a parallel line. And then we can draw FV. That is the force acting along the V axis. So now we see that we have a parallelogram. Now let's consider the V axis. So the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees from this point to this point. Now this angle is 30 degrees. This angle is also 30 degrees. So if you want to find this angle, then basically it is 180 minus 30 minus 30. So that gives 120 degrees. So we have this angle to be 120 degrees. Now this angle corresponds to this angle. So if this is 120, we also have 120 here. So this angle is also 120. Now again, let's consider this triangle. The interior angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if this is 30 degrees and this is 120 degrees, then 180 minus 120 minus 30 is equal to 30 degrees. So we also have 30 degrees here. And then this line is parallel to this line. So if here is FV acting downwards, we can as well have FV here acting downwards. Now let's focus on this triangle. Let's redraw this triangle. So we have FU. And then we have FV, FU acting along this line. We have FV acting downwards. And then we have the 600 Newton's force acting this way. Inside of the triangle, we have 30 degrees. We have 120. And then we also have 
30 degrees here. Now using the law of sines, we can find Fu and then Fb. So first of all, let's solve for Fu. Now opposite angle 120, we have Fu. So we can write sine 120 divided by Fu equals across this angle we have 600 newtons force so that is sine 30 divided by 600 now let's cross multiply so we have fu sine 30 equals 600 sine 120 now because we want to find for fu we can divide through by sine 30 So 600 sine 120 divided by sine 30 is equal to 1039 newtons. Now let's find for Fv. So across this angle, we have Fv. So we have sine 30 divided by Fv equals, we have sine 30 over 600 so when we cross multiply we have fv sine 30 equals 600 sine 30 now let's divide through by sine 30 sine 30 cancels out sine 30 and then we have sine 30 cancelling out sine 30. So Fv is equal to 600 newtons. So we have Fu to be 1039 newtons. And then we have Fv to be 600 newtons. Now the results for Fu shows that sometimes a component force can have a greater magnitude than the resultant force. Here we had Fu to be 1039 newtons, however the resultant force is 600 newtons. So let's solve our second question. So for the second question, we are to resolve the 30 newtons force into components along the U and V axis and determine the magnitude of each of the components. So we have a 30 newtons force which makes an angle of 30 degrees with the U axis and then we also have the V axis making an angle of 15 degrees with this axis. Now let's draw the component forces along the V and then U axis. So to draw FV, let's create a line that is parallel to the V axis. So we have this line here. So this is FV. And then for Fu, let's draw a line that is parallel to the U axis. So we have Fu acting this way along the U axis. And then we have this figure as a parallelogram. Now the angle between this axis and the U axis is 90 degrees. So we can find the angle here. So 90 minus 15 minus 30 is 45 so this angle is 45 degrees now this angle corresponds with this angle so if here is 45 we have here to also be 45 and then we know that the interior angle of a triangle is 180 degrees so focusing on this triangle 180 minus 45 minus 30 is equal to 105 degrees so this angle is 105 degrees now let's redraw this triangle so we have 30 newtons acting this way along this line and then we have fv acting along this line 
and then we have fu acting along the u axis now let's find fu and fv so using the law of signs let's first of all find the value of fu so across the 45 degrees angle we have fu so let's write sine 45 divided by fu equals we have sine 105 and then across this we have 30 newtons so we have 30 now let's cross multiply so we have fu times sine 105 equals 30 sine 45 so let's divide through by sine 105 and then we have fu to be equal to 21.96 newtons which is equal to 22 newtons so fu is equal to 22 newtons now let's find the value of fv now opposite of fv we have the angle 30 degrees so we can write sine 30 over fv equals sine 105 over 30 so when we cross multiply we have fv equals 30 sine 30 divided by sine 105 so we have the value of fv to be 15.5 newtons so the components of the 30 newtons force along the u and the v axis are 22 newtons and 15.5 newtons respectively thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye bye